my friend, let's start discuss about the fact number three about Samarkand, which more commonly known as people and traditions. In Samarkand. In Samarkand. Le yes, let's take a start. Now we are right in front of the one of ancient buildings and churches of Samarkand. A Christian one. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. And it was constructed in the beginning of 20th century. If exactly, 1911. 11, that's true. Nice. And, and as I know, in 1912, in 1920s and 1930s, it was closed because of the political system of the former Soviet Union. And we know very well by the history that it wasn't any types of religion in the former Soviet Union. Yes. Because Marx once said, religion is opium for nation. Yes, at that time religion was completely forbidden. It was the most horrible time in the history, in the new history of Uzbekistan. And it's good to know that in 1991, Uzbekistan obtained own independence in, in 1992 by the initiative of the new president, it was opened again. Yes, it was a great job by our first president. Yes, and it was in 1996 when this church had jubilee. It was 125 years and Alexei uh, from Moscow has been visited here, yeah? Yes. And it was... He did something too, yeah? What yeah. did he do? After visiting the church, he yeah. decided to visit St. Daniel's Mausoleum as well. Yeah. When he visited St. Daniel's Mausoleum, he noticed that there was a pistachio tree which was completely died. Yeah. And he decided to take the water. A special water, I special think. Special water. Holy water, yeah? Holy, indeed. And he sprinkled the water to the tree. So, and after? After a couple of days, the tree turned green. Can you imagine? No, I can't imagine it. But, but I'm sure it's absolutely truth. Yeah, still we remember that date and we really think that this is really... And appreciate it. Yes. So, I think there are a lot of places like that in Samarkand and let's go there. Yes, let's do it. Right now. Right now. Parish of St. John the Baptist Church. It is also in Samarkand? Yes, it is. It's one of the first churches in Samarkand. Uh, there are four or five that kind of churches here, yes? Yes, that's true. But this one was the first one and which built in 1916. Yes, you're right. For Polish soldiers? Yes, for Polish soldiers. Nice. So I'd like to go inside, but nobody there. That's why I think we can't do it without permission. Yes. So let's do it for the next time. We will definitely do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we know very well that Samarkand city is a role model for many cities which might be a very tolerant. Yes, it's so? definitely true. It's one of excellent examples to that. It's the Armenians church where we now ah, we are in the Armenian church in Samarkand. Yes, we are. But the population is not too much here yeah? because just 500,000 people in Samarkand city and approximately just 1% yes, Armenian. That's true. Uh, before uh, mm -hmm. they were approximately close to 20,000 people. So that's the reason why they had a church. Mm -hmm. You know, in Los Angeles, I've got a lot of friends Armenian. But uh, here, this building, it has been built in 903, Sweet. yes? Yes, beginning of 20th century. Nice. I think that's a role model, this city, the role model for many cities in Central Asian region, which might have that kind of church. That's definitely true. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So we are in a Jewish quarter here in Samarkand and I can see a very extraordinary and I think very ancient building which is Hamami Daudi. What does it mean? It means it's a Jewish bath. A Jewish? Yes. And what's the difference with an ordinary uh, bath? 
it has a big difference, huge difference. It's located underground, which gives opportunity to warm it with one candle. One candle? Yes. Fantastic. Right. One candle was enough to heat it. Even now? If it, unfortunately, no. After the general reconstruction, the technology of heating system was destroyed. So that's why it's impossible now. Yep. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So let's go to another place of this region. Let's go. Let's go. Fate. Can I say that we are in a Jewish heart of Samarkand now? Yes, we can confidently say that because we are passing the ancient synagogue of Jewish quarter, which was constructed in this the building. century. Yes. Now. Impossible. So uh, why uh, it has some extraordinary parts? Because it has some difference, yes? Yes, indeed. It has a huge difference between constructing in other synagogues because it has a dome, which is unusual for constructing synagogue. And it has name, Synagogue Gumbas, which means dome. Oh, nice. And what does it mean? He says that the building of the synagogue is under protection of the government and ah, the Ministry well. of uh, Culture and Sport of Uzbekistan. Yes, right. And I've heard that the synagogue has a Torah from 17th century. Yes, you're right. They still keep the Torah of 17th century. So, what kind of place can we visit here in a Jewish quarter in Samarkand? The most important places to visit, they are synagogue, first Which of all. And here and Jewish bath and and we can try as experience a Jewish kebab really yes let's do it now you know we I was Presley once said now or never yes we will surprise you oh, really let's go yes, let's go <laughs> Hi, Sayyid, how are you? Fine, thanks. How about you? Uh, still alive. It is, I think, uh, 5 a.m. Yeah, that's true. It's it is too early. But why you bring me here? Because you told me that it's the best place for breakfast. And I think I'm in the former Soviet Union. Why? So, uh, to say the truth, it's really interesting and authentic place uh, for uh, you because You've never seen such a place as in other countries. And this place is famous by its own kebab, shashlik, and... This one? Yes, exactly. Okay. But it is ordinary kebab. But they do it in the morning, which is not usual. Oh, 5 a.m., yeah, that's true. Yes. It's a good experience for you and for your stomach as well. Oh, yes. I think you're right. And yeah. I think it is uh, not just an Uzbek traditional kebab, yes? Yes, that's true. We are in Jewish quarter. Yeah. It's an interesting part of Samarkand. And this place where they're making shashlik, it was founded in 80s. Kebab is shashlik, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was founded in 80s. Mm -hmm. By a Jewish family? Yes, you're, you're right. By a Jewish family. Um, in the beginning of the 90s of the mm -hmm. 20th century, the family sold their own business to their waiter. Who was it was the collapsing of the former Soviet Union and all yes. the Jewish families from Uzbekistan and from all the post-Soviet communistic republics, they moved to the USA or to uh, other uh, European countries. Yeah, and when they sold their own business, uh, the person who was a waiter and was assistant of uh, he, he wasn't just a waiter, he was yeah. also a, an assistant, okay? Yes. And he bought this place from Jewish family mm -hmm. and kept the traditions. Ah, did he change something here? Nothing. As you see, oh, no, we yes. are in Soviet Union. Yes, Still, indeed. Even mm -hmm. in Saturday, they don't do kebab. Because Shabbat? Because Shabbat. Nice. So I think uh, any tourists yeah, from any countries, and it doesn't matter about religious, they can visit here. Thank you. That's true. They can visit here and try this very extraordinary kebab. That's true. It, I think it has to be a must-to-do list in Samarkand. Oh, nice. So, have a nice appetite. And Thank let's start much. to do it. Thank you very much. And to go on. Go on. Let's take a start.
So, what's that? Silk and other things you can buy and purchase in an art gallery, special art gallery of Lena Ladik, which is situated in Tashkin Street, former Tashkin Street. Yes, and the name of this art studio is a Happy, Happy Bird. Bird. Okay, it is a walk, very famous journal. Yes. Yes, you see the picture? On the picture right here, behind us you can see the same thing. Yes. Let's see. Let's uh, go to that gallery yeah, and see. Because it is a yeah. fact number three. three. Uh, people, people and, and traditions, traditions of, of Samarkand. Samarkand. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, you know, uh, uh, Lena, she's a friend of mine. She's a so super professional person in this area. Oh, yes, I'd like to see it. all her works by myself. Yeah, we can do it. Mm -hmm. today. First, we should knock as yeah, a yeah, sure, sure, sure. obeying our oh, yeah, own traditions. Oh, yeah, it's a private property, sure. Здравствуйте. Hi. Здравствуйте. Можно к вам? Thank you. Как вы, Лена? Прекрасно. Как вы от объекта? Отлично. Лена, she is an owner of this studio, and during I think 12 years yes. she has this studio, but she, the professional, uh, I think she worked uh, in the museum and she graduated in the St. Petersburg, the Faculty of Art. Yes. yes. She's a really uh, good expert in this area. Yeah? Yes, that's really true. She's been doing this in Samarkand 12 years and it's mm -hmm. not uh, just jokes. It's really mm -hmm. huge work. Nice. And um, now we're going to see her, all, the, her, all her works, yes? Yeah, sure. Сейчас мы будем смотреть все ваши работы, потому что наш уважаемый коллега очень заинтересован. Да. Можно сначала кофе. А, how about coffee? Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, dear guests, dear friends, uh, Lena Lani offers really good coffee, which is Turkish coffee, and you have to try it. It's one of oh. the best reasons to visit her gallery. Насколько я знаю, 12 лет вы этим занимаетесь, да? Вы сами по профессии искусствовед. И всю жизнь вы в искусстве. Да. Yes, it's been uh, 12 years that she is working this job and she is doing really good and she is doing arts. So, so я думаю, время пришло посмотреть ваши работы, потому что у вас такой здесь дизайн. Я всегда думал, что у вас что-то вот можно купить. Я помню, первый раз, когда к вам пришел, я хотел купить вот эти вот часы 19 века, а вы сказали, что это ничего не продается. Ни в коем случае продается только одежда. I can sell my scarves and clothes, nothing else. The other thing is my uh, part of the gallery. It's made in 19th century. Yes, that's true, the clocks of 19th century. So, uh, Lena, you use a kind of style, you take these pieces from the sandals, you find these pieces that have been in the houses and you give them a European design? Yes, a special appearance. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. really uh, interesting work of uh, Lena Ladik. She is uh, getting the ancient textile and turning it to the beautiful clothes, which are really wearable. Uh, I think it's time to see it. Yeah? Yes, definitely. Let's... Can we look at it? Yeah, you can see that. Thank you. Amazing. You see, it is also national uh, dress in Samarkand, you see? Is it good? Say it. It suits you. Yeah. No, uh, thank how, you. How the, the people say uh, It was very bad <laughs> Russian proverb. Please don't try to know the, the translation. It has to be warm in it, right? Yes, correct. So let's see the first one. 
Так, и что это такое? Вот, очень такая тяжелая. Да. Вообще, этот, а, да? Можно посмотреть, это, это прям снять? Это замечательный угу. халат. Он действительно очень тяжелый, потому что расшит он вискозным шелком, полностью вручную, вышивающимся из шахрисапса. Yes, dear friends, this is a real handmade embroidery from Shakri Sabs. And it is Kashkadaria, yeah, yes, it's Kashkadaria another part region. of Uzbekistan. It's almost 120 kilometers from Samarkand, and I think the work is not so easy as it looks. А как долго шьется этот халат? Несколько месяцев шили четыре мастерицы. And it's been several months, four girls could finish this work and I could tell that it's very heavy, yeah? Heavy, yes. Ну, таким и должен быть, мне кажется, халат, да. And it has to be, it's supposed to be like that. Который придает монументальность, горе, да, солидность. А это у нас что такое? А, это трансформер. О, это трансформер. Это мы использовали винтажный вельвет, а вот тесьму ручного плетения, да. Винтаж вельвет, и здесь мы можем увидеть эмбройдеры тоже. На льняной ткани, тоже винтажной, мы сделали набойку. Причем это сделал мастер, который у нас здесь в центре Хонорманд. Mm -hmm. So here we can see that the uh, stamps, and they can show you the flowers. And the master who who made it, he works here, yeah. Yeah, he is from this gallery as well. Mm -hmm. Да, а трансформер, потому что вот отсоединяется верхняя There is a zip, and you can open it, and you can change uh, the view of the clothes anytime you wish. Okay. Спасибо. А вот это не каракуль, но что-то наподобие каракуля, да? Вот да, все думают, посмотреть? что каракуль, угу. да, и даже когда вот его щупают, тоже думают, что каракуль. На самом деле это бархат, вот такой вот шелковый, угу. натуральный тоже из сундучных запасов. Вау. И небольшой кусочек этнической вышивки. Вышивка из клева, остался вот целый фрагментик, и мы угу. его использовали для угу. декорирования. И на подкладочку обратите внимание. Все uh -huh. наши подкладки исключительно натуральный шелк. Да. Uh -huh. Как говорят французы, шубу надо носить мехом вовнутрь. Uh -huh. uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, here we can uh, see that the interesting work which reminds Karakul, which uh, is really close to wool, and, but it's not wool, it's uh, silk. And uh, it has amazing work, and it looks really awesome. And here we can see the uh, ethnic embroidery. It's real national embroidery, handmade, and uh, inside cover and bases is from the silk. Mm -hmm. Красиво. Спасибо. А это что такое? Ну вот, может, стоит показать uh, этот халат, который расшивали мастерицы из uh, Нураты. А это вышивка, напоминающая русскую гладь или тамбурный вот такой шов, вышивка э, крючком. Uh -huh. А это вышивка иглой, uh -huh. а, похожая на э, крест, вышивку да. крестика. So, dear friends, here we can compare two clothes, and one of them is made by needle, and the second one made by hook, and it's embroidered as well, but it's more different region. It's Nurata region. It's a mountains area of Samarkand and it's handmade as well. And here we can see that national ornament and it more looks like uh, Russian and somehow Uzbek ornament like pomegranate motif which is a symbol of fertility. Вот, а еще я очень люблю э, старинный бархат со следами такой легкой потертости. Он да, 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 чувствуется на самом деле благородный на самом деле. С переливами. Да, вот. Ну и вот здесь вот кусочек бархата такой uh -huh. достался и э, пэтчворк, э, воскутная uh -huh. техника традиционная. Uh -huh. So right here we can see more uh, different and unusual uh, view of the clothes and it has more different uh, form than the others one and it's a combination of the styles and here we can see uh, different embroidery with the national uh, bases and How do you think? Um, 
This it, is a Chinese uh, yeah, it's silk, a, yeah? Yes, it's a Chinese. Natural Chinese. And it has to be uh, kind of 80s of 90s mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, silk, which uh, was saved in a good condition. Yep. Nice. А что еще хоть нам показать, если сшибать платье, да? Here we got more interesting clothes for women. Готовимся уже к весне, вот и делаем такие вот шелковые платья, украшаем их вышивкой ручной. Handmade embroidered and silk clothes. Да, здесь вот орнамент техники батик. Как из Южной Кореи. And this is a real batik. Угу. А это набойка. Ой, какой материал хороший. Это стемп. Do you remember that that thing uh, that I show you? And it looks more like that, and it has a national ornament as well, and it's stamp, uh, which is made by wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. И надо сказать, что над созданием наших коллекций работает коллектив. За 12 mm -hmm. лет уже. Uh, Собралась, собралась команда единомышленников, вот, и я очень рада, что у нас такое взаимопонимание и какой-то совместный профессиональный рост, uh -huh. который позволяет нам участвовать вот на uh -huh. фестивалях моды, делать коллекции одежды и делать самостоятельные выставки да. в больших художественных музеях в России угу. за границей за дальним зарубежье. Угу. Вот, так что... Пожалуйста. So uh, in these 12 years uh, she could create an interesting team of workers and they really understand each other really fine. Yeah. And they understand each other, they support each other and in these 12 years they who participated in different exhibitions and uh, so uh, now they are international doing, exhibitions yeah international exhibitions in moscow mm -hmm. in china and now mm -hmm. they are doing by themselves mm -hmm. so uh, they got enough experience mm -hmm. to do uh, something more uh, breathtaking а вот у вас такой дизайн здесь да необычный это все делали вы сами да это под Это вы подсказывали как-то дизайнеру, или просто дизайнер пришел, это все вам поставил, сделал, потому что так необычно, я прям смотрю и наслаждаюсь. Да. Ну, сама идея вот такого образа галереи, она подсказана тем, что мы используем винтажные ткани. Значит, современное оборудование торговое, оно совершенно было бы как бы не, неуместным. Поэтому вот э, бросила клич, друзья стали смотреть свои шкатулочки, там бабушкины брошки, потом базары у нас, вот толкучки uh -huh. вручают. Ни одного зеркала я не купила. Uh -huh. Это все подарки моих uh -huh. друзей, да. И клиентов, вот. я так понимаю. Потому что вы говорили, что клиенты, когда приезжают, привозят с собой птицу. Да, птичек. Mm -hmm. Вот те, кто возвращается в Самарканд, вот часто привозят, и мне mm -hmm. это очень приятно, или mm -hmm. кофе, или птичек. Mm -hmm. Ну, будем знать, что это... привозить. Да, буду рада. So the most things uh, as a gift, uh, which is really common for this gallery, birds, coffee, and... From the customers. Yes, from the customers. Who the second time visit here. Yeah, yeah. they definitely... Uh, want to visit mm -hmm. it the second time because it's not the place that mm -hmm. you visit once and say okay it's enough yeah from my personal experiment for my personal mm -hmm. experience i know that it's a really interesting place and every time when i come with my tourists mm -hmm. they enjoy it yet every time when i come here i feel something new mm -hmm. nice uh i последний вопрос почему ваша студия называется happy bird счастливая птица почему а, счастливая птица, потому что птица должна быть счастливой. На открытии нашего, нашей галереи, салона, я выпустила птиц из клеток, а в этих клетках мы устроили а, эти светильники. Uh -huh. вот, к сожалению, мы поменяли а, местоположение, светильников uh -huh. этих нет, но надо их возродить. Вот. А птица а, счастливая, потому что была когда борьба с птичьим гриппом. Да, я помню. По телевизору показывали странных персонажей, которые uh -huh. в белых балахонах ходили, такие со скрытыми uh -huh. лицами, несли тушки этих несчастных птиц. А вот. И вышел uh -huh. документальный фильм о птице да. французского режиссера. Вот. И, ну, Поэтому мы вот поставили, так, да. да.
Yeah, the main reason why the gallery called Happy Bird, it's close linked with bird flu. And uh, there was a really horrible situation with the poor mm -hmm. uh, birds and they got mm -hmm. really uh, bad yeah. conditions and they had to survive and there were people... I think that was her message, yes? Yes, it was like a message and mm -hmm. uh, so uh, mm -hmm. that's really good that today we don't have any problems with... Blue. Yes, it is good, yeah. yeah. И если можно, тогда, Елена, можно, я в описании к этому видео оставлю адрес и координаты этого места, если вдруг люди, которые смотрят нас сейчас и приедут сюда в Самарканд, могли бы вас посетить. Буду вам очень благодарна. Uh -huh. yeah. So, dear friends, uh, we got a permission for leaving more contacts about Lena Ladek and about her address and phone number and email. If you want to uh, come to this place, you can just contact her yeah. and anytime you can visit her gallery. In the description, uh, we will write it down all the contact information. Спасибо вам огромное. Удачи вам. И чтобы всегда у вас все было хорошо. Спасибо большое. До свидания. До свидания. And we'd like to go to another room and we'll prepare the fact number three, which is traditions and people, but it should be the second part of this fact, yes? Yes, we are going to another room, another yes. workshop. Yes, let's go. Let's go. The fact number three names... People... And traditions. Of summer camp. Nice. So, what are we going to see? Now we are in the workshop of embroideries. So here we can see a lot of beautiful embroideries. Nice. And all of them handmade. Can you imagine? Uh, we call them Suzani. Suzani, it means a needle. Mm -hmm. And it's a needle work. And uh, all of them, they are made by hands, mm -hmm. by girl. And it, before, back then, it was a, like a diploma of a girl. A diploma? Is, yes, who is going to marry it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, by the details, mm -hmm. they could judge mm -hmm. the girl is lazy or not. Wow. Yeah. Even now, in our days? Nowadays, they can just buy it, unfortunately. Oh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe fortunately. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, here, I really like this tile. Oh, yes, this is really interesting embroidery, dear um, mm -hmm. friends. And here we got classic Zoroastrian embroidery of summer camp. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Zoroastrian motif and family protected with uh, fire, earth, air, and all four elements of religion Zoroastrian. And even yeah. now in our days, uh, some American now, yes. people use it in the weddings. Yes, this embroidery is typical classic embroidery for Samarkand people. Nice. Thank you. And I really like this style. Yes, this is the modern style of embroidery here. We got more colorful uh, mm -hmm. colors. And here we see the chili pepper. Uh, what does it mean? It's a protection from evil eye. From your eye or from evil eye? From I think that's the same eye. one, yeah? <laughs> okay. And He's this one? Joker. So, uh, we know that the embroideries, they can be in a different sizes. For example, it can be bed covers yeah. or wall <gasps> Wow, covers nice, or you see. Okay. Pillowcases, table runners, and you can do it as you want now. So just one question, uh, how long time we need to so do this? Approximately for this embroidery uh -huh. uh, works three or four girls and they need to work approximately five months. Because five months? Five three months. or four girls? Yes, they should be together. It is together. unbelievable. But it's really beautiful and not only work, it's art. So that's the family. Yes. I think that's the second generation. They have this, I could say, art. Yes. Yes. This is uh, a woman. She's, her name is Mavluda. This is the second generation. Uh, this is her bright. bright, which is the third generation. And after her daughter, which is the fourth generation. Yeah? Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, yes. yes. Бізге бұдан саны чет елдер көрады, шүнге қана қылып тікелешіні көрсатып берсіз, байдым камераге. So on the video you can see how she is doing all embroideries by hand and she is working by needle. You can just look and enjoy. Yes. Yeah, I strongly recommend you to see how she is doing it. And, and do it by yourself, yeah? Do it by yourself, indeed. And pay attention on the basis. Here you can see the first ornaments, the paintings, which were painted by pencil. And on that paintings, she is 
making embroideries and all stress are from silk and the huge difference between Samarkand embroidery and other embroideries is this is they have really colorful stripes and colorful design and from now I believe you that during five months three or four girls can made it yes yes I believe you and this is the national cap in Samarkand yes. which is call them to be taken or do like that yeah like that he I'd like really to look like as an, you know, um, uh, classic and uh, very traditional uh, yes. Samarkand guy. Yes, and you look really handsome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. thank Your you. Much you appreciated. Handsome. Thank you. <laughs> After the cap, before yes. no, yes. No. Thank you. Kota Rahmat. Mana marhamat dostlar. Sizga katta rahmat bizni mazaq qildu. Demak, mana shunaqangi chiroylik narsalarni qilayotgan ekansiz, biz uchun tele do'stlarimiz uchun biz sizlar minnatdormiz. Agar ruxsat bersangiz, mana shu demak markazni, barcha adres telefonlarini ushbu videoni tegib qoldiramiz. Mayli. So dear guests, uh, thanks for watching and for the comments and uh, for Yeah, we would like uh, to to write it down all the contact information for the description of this video. Yes. So. Uh, because we already got the permission and thank you very much for attention and it was a fact number three about Samarkand people and traditions, traditions. of Samarkand thank you very thank much thank you and we'll continue so the fact number three about traditions and people of Samarkand and of course, when we visit this beautiful city, we have to buy something which can give us a memory about this extraordinary city. And this friend of mine, hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Samat. Yes. Samat has a special shop, that's the second generation, yes, yes. because his father founded this shop, a souvenir shop, yes. and all of my friends try to buy everything here because everything is here. Ceramics, dresses and all kind of fuviness. Thank you very much for that. Uh, this address, I think, when we visit uh, Shehizinda, on the left side is the first shop. First yeah? shop, yes. And that's the scarves. Scarves, please. Take a look for this. Mm -hmm. This one is... Uh, exactly Samarkand. Wool and silk mix it. Okay. With a picture register. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here also you can see uh, silk one. Mm -hmm. It's handwritten Uzbek silk. Yep. 100 percent silk yes. yes here there is mm -hmm. nice so this one is uh, our ikat mm -hmm. popular mm -hmm. address address yeah it's cotton mm -hmm. so awesome let's go inside please let's go inside and here on the right side we can see all the samarkand clothes yeah t-shirts the special yes, ones yes. i like this one uh, uzbekistan samarkand yeah all uh, the clothes are Handmade, yeah? Yes, handmade by ourselves. Yeah, Samarkand, the Great Silk Road. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? This. It's for my friends in Alaska. Yes. You see? I think super nice. Thank you, that's for my friends. Okay, thank you. Okay, here you can see magnets. The magnets, yeah, about Samarkand. Oh, national caps. I like it. It's good. Yep. It's uh, red paper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here, the most lovely part of this shop. You know, not just women yes. can use these scarves, also a man. I like this one. It is a grey one, yeah? You see? From the one side, it is like a national address, yeah? And some a mixed style. Wow, this one, yeah? So, let's do it right now. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, like, you know, this soft. Little, yeah, the material, supernatural. Yeah, it's good. Is it nice? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And so, uh, here we can see ceramics, yeah? Mm hmm. Uh, the Uzbek national style, mm -hmm. ceramic, summer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Here, yeah? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what about this one? Something this special. special? Yes, it's so busy work. Mm -hmm. You can see here, it's making buy one buy. Mm -hmm. yes, I think 
It should be a very difficult word. <laughs> oh, what's that? The toys for oh, the Christmas tree? Yes. yes. Wow, I've never seen it before. Oh, we know very well the style of our new uh, Christmas tree in the coming new year, yeah? Oh, okay, here. Oh. You know, we have a special competition for the next video about national uh, summer cans food, which is plof. I don't want to say some details, but I'd like to get an award for this competition, for winner. Some. Yes, and could you please give us something for our friends? Yeah, of course. I have a good idea for them. What about this? Oh, it's for, the, for beer, yeah? Yes. Uh, and I think everything, every liquid which is inside, will have uh, another taste. Why? Because it's a special uh, Samarkand Why? Yep, good. Thank you. And that's for me. Yeah. That's, that's for me. Please. For our friends, for it's the winner. Yeah. For the winner. And all the details about this competition for the next video, okay? Nice, thank you. Wow, it's for what? From evil eyes, yes? There is bracelets for evil eyes. Here is the tasbih and the uh, perfumes from Mecca. Mecca. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of evil eyes in the world. Yeah. And it's, uh, that kind of bracelets really help. Okay, uh, what about these pictures? There is the skin, sheep uh -huh. skin. Uh-huh, a natural handmade, one. Yes, natural. Oh, and this one? Oh, I'm not a musician at the first time in my life. Try. Really, are you sure? It's Was like it train. a train? <laughs> no, that's not my cup of tea. Wow, and that's the bags. For women. And made stuff bags. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And yeah. this is the dream of all the women of all of the world. Yes. Exactly Samarkand style. Yes. Old style. Old style, Old yeah. Style. Yes. You know, thank you for everything. It was my well, pleasure. You're welcome. Yes. I give Me a too. best regard to your father. Thank you. And it was our fact number three. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Have me again. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've heard about very serious changes in Uzbekistan. And now I'd like to show you a very interesting video about seven most interesting facts about Samarkand, which is the most ancient cities in the Middle Asian region. And for this video, uh, uh, one site, one website, uh, www.gotous uh, uh, really helped me. And if you have any opportunities or possibilities to work in Uzbekistan, uh, like in the sphere of business or just investing, uh, please go to this website, www.gotous, uh, and uh, press the button, and you'll see all the information about uh, business and investing in Uzbekistan. And welcome to our project, Go to Us. Thank you.